Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to do a quick tutorial on how to make a really cute, simple bow. I've had people ask me quite a few times on how to make them without having any of the stitching being shown and how to successfully do them without uh, making it look wonky and whatnot. So this is going to be a simple tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy it. First step you need to do is get a sheet of paper, uh, preferably make it more length than width because if you put more width and a little bit of length, because if you do, it's just not going to look great. I did 14 inches in length and 5 and a half inches in width. After that, just put this on, on a sheet of fabric, doesn't matter what kind of fabric, preferably either solids or simple repeated pattern. Make sure it is not on a cut and fold. You want to put it on single layer, but if you want to put double layer to cut more than one bow, that is up to you. Alright, once you have your piece of fabric, you want to leave it on the right side. And then we are going to fold the fabric in half. Make sure it's slightly overlaying on both of the ends there and what you want to do is pin it. Next what you want to do is you want to stitch all the way around. Uh, I would prefer not to machine stitch. I've tried it before after seeing a few tutorials before making my own set of bows and let's just face it it doesn't work well. Um, so always hand sew your bows, especially at the ends here. Okay, so once you have sewn the sides here, now we turn this inside out. Doesn't that look nice? Not really. So, sometimes when my edges aren't as pointy as they should be, like that for instance, I usually just grab a pin and poke it on the sides and just gently like flick it out and now we're going to be shaping our piece into a bow. I usually flip it on the folded sides and you would essentially just do a push out and then back in that and then make this even and there you are there's other ways of doing this you can either hot glue it or you can sew it sometimes people like to sew it before hot gluing it I just I preferably like hot gluing it um, so I did a little oopsie I don't like how this is really high up so just if you could just make the fronts more even like that. So I do one little spray at the bottom there and let it sit about like 10-15 seconds. Try not to burn yourself because hot gluing on skin is not fun. Okay and then once that's done just flip it over and do the exact same. Now that it's hot glued and dried, as you can tell, that's perfect at the bottom. Oh, I'm like quarter of an inch off, but really, no one's not going to tell. Now make sure before you put the wrap around here to make it more stable, 
hot glue your clip at the back here, whatever clip you want, and then put the thing over. Alright, so I'm not hot gluing a clip for this hair bow because I'm actually using this hair bow for one of my headbands I'm currently making. This is what I'm using to make my headbands. Uh, the giant bow with a little bit of star resins on there. But yeah, you can make a bow for headbands or just a standard hair bow. And yeah, that is it. If you guys like this little tutorial on how to make a simple hair bow for anything, please give this video a nice like. And if you want to follow me on my those social media accounts, all the links are down below in the description box as well. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more do-it-yourself videos, uh, cosplay shenanigans, get ready with me videos, and much more content. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!